Hi everyone! So um, this is a Christmas look that I have a video for which I'll post here if you want to check it out just to let you know why I have so much makeup on. Um, yeah, so today as you can see by the title of this video I'm going to show you all my MAC lipsticks because I've been seeing these um, videos quite a lot recently and I was like oh my god I want to do that too because I love MAC lipsticks and I have quite a few and I think I have quite a good variation. So I have 16 altogether. Um, yeah, 16, which is quite a lot, but I've been collecting for nearly two years now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all of them, and then um, I'm going to swatch it, and you can see it briefly, but then I'm going to take a picture of all of them, so I'll post them after every single one so you can see exactly what the lipstick looks like. So I have four groups here. I have nude, pink, red, and just brights, I guess I'd say, because they, they don't fit into pink, they don't fit into red, or nude, they're just kind of crazy colours. Um, so to start with, I think I'll go with nude because that's quite a typical one, isn't it? So I have five nude colours. A couple of colours I've not been sure where to put them, so they've gone with a group and we're just sticking with that, but I'll let you know which ones I'm not 100% sure about. So we'll start with um, the nudiest of the nude, and that's one that everyone has, and I think most people wonder why they actually have it. It's Myth. Um, it's a very nude lipstick. I'll put them all the way up so you can see how much I've used of each one, so you can see which ones are more popular. Um, popular, see which ones more pop popular with me, anyway. So this is like a concealer kind of nude with a kind of orangey hint. I never use it. Um, I got it right at the beginning, so that's why I've used more of it. If I use it, it's when I'm kind of looking at it like, come on, I need to use this. I paid thirteen pounds fifty for this. I need to use it, so I put a lip uh, lip gloss over top. So if I hold my arm like this. That's myth there. Um, I'm relatively pale at the moment, so yeah, I'm probably like an NC20, NC15. Um, next, I'll go for another very nudie colour. This is my first ever lipstick, and this was this is Hue, um, and you can see how much I've used of this one a lot. This is a really gorgeous pinky nude, so it's, it's still very very nude. Oh, sorry, myth was a satin finish. Um, Hue is a glaze and it's a really lovely lipstick. I'm just gonna swatch this right above top and it's got a really nice glaze to it obviously and it's just very pinky but it's still a lovely nude so it's very nude like don't be mistaken when you're not gonna still have a bit of colour it's still a very very nude colour but it's just a lot nicer than me. Um, next I'm gonna go for uh, Shy Girl I think because that's a very very pale colour too. This is a cream sheen, which is a really nice finish. My favourite finish is Luster, though. Um, I've used quite a lot of this, and this isn't that old, to be honest. It's a very um, peachy um, nude, so it's not so much pink. This is much more of a peachy colour, apricot-y kind of colour. Um, and it's not as... Um, obviously, the hue is a glaze, so it's not as kind of shiny as that, but it's still very thick and creamy and quite very pigmented as well. I really like Shy Girl, it's lovely with a lip gloss and you can actually wear it on its own but only when I'm very pale. Um, next I'm going to show you Viva Glam 2. I was supposed to get Viva Glam Gaga 2 but there was a mix up which you could see if you've been watching me for a while in one of my um, MAC hauls from ages ago. I've hardly used this lipstick actually. I really need to start using it because I do actually really like it. Um, it's a very dark nude so it's a brownie nude. Well I say very, it's not very very but it's a brown nude. And I actually do like it, so I'm not really sure I haven't used that much of it. I need to kind of get on that. So this is a satin as well. Satin isn't one of my favourite finishes. I find it's a bit too, it's not very moisturising. So that's that colour there. You can see it's quite a bit darker, but it's still really, really nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I haven't used this much, but I do need to. Um, the next, last one is Modesty, which is one of my favourite lip colours. Um, I've used quite a lot of it. And it's a very pinky, it's a pinky mauvey kind of nude. It's a cream sheen, um, so it's very pigmented. And I just really like this. It's not pink, it's not brown, it's not peach. It's just a really nice in-between, kind of prettier than your natural lip colour kind of colour. And it's got a nice sheen to it as well. You can see it's a bit lighter than the Lady Gaga one. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So that's all of my nudes. Next let's go on to pinks because there are six in that collection. Um, here we go. 
I've paid for every single one of these lipsticks myself, apart from two, which I got um, free from Back to Mac. I can't remember which ones they were, but yeah. So just to let you know, my parents didn't buy these for me. I bought them when I was working. Um, so yeah. Right, now on to the pinks. I'm just going to pick them up as they come. I have no idea what order they're in, apart from this one, actually, because of the red packaging. If they're red, they're Viva Glam. Yeah, Viva Glam. So basically, all the um, money, so you pay £13.50 for this, every single penny goes to HIV and AIDS, AIDS Trust Fund. So this is Viva Glam Gaga, and this is a luster. I hardly ever wear this colour, seriously, it's just crazy. It's a bright, bright pink, and it, although it's a luster, it's very dry in my opinion. Um, yeah, I rarely wear it, but everyone has it. To be honest, I should wear it more because you can actually, you can see it's very pink, but it's actually a luster so you can really wear it down so you can only put a tiny bit on and it will just be a nice bright brightish pink but yeah that's the Lady Gaga one um, randomly the next one I'm picking up is Syrup and I wasn't sure where to put this one Modesty I wasn't sure either but I think it's good where it was but Syrup I'm really not sure this is a luster like I said it's my favourite finish this is my roast, most recent matte lipstick and it's a really nice I've used quite a lot of it it's only a few weeks old it's a really nice mauvey, pinky, purple nude with brown. That's really weird, but I have to mention the purple in it because it's quite, um, it's not that obvious, but there's a definite purple hue. So, and it's got a lovely, because um, it's a luster, it's got a lovely um, glossy finish and it's not too pigmented. So you can put a little bit on or you can pile it on, it's completely up to you. So I absolutely love this colour for every day, whatever you're wearing, you can just slap that lipstick on. <laughs> the next one is a Frost, which I'm not a fan of. Um, this is Bombshell. I've used quite a bit of this because it is quite old. Um, I do like it though, but I don't use it that often. It's a really nice kind of brightish pink with gold shimmer running through. Um, I do like it, to be honest, but I, I don't normally wear that bright lipsticks. And if I do, I wear really bright. So that's um, Bombshell, it's quite a big swatch there. You can see the, hopefully you can see the gold running through it, but I'll take photos later and then I'll put um, like tags on each one. So you, I'll leave that up or you can pause it on the video when that comes up. So yeah, I'm not gonna put this after every lipstick, which you've obviously realized, but it's gonna be at the end, I'll put a big picture where you can see all of them. So yeah, that's Bombshell. Next is, Cream Cup, which is a really um, popular colour. This is a cream sheen, and it's actually very nude, so it's between the nude and the pink, but it's a pink nude, and it's quite a pinky nude, I'd say. I like it, and it surprises me it's so popular, because I do like it, but I find it's a bit too thick, and when you put it on, it's kind of, it kind of, like, clogs up. Does that make any sense? But here it is. You can see it's kind of relative to the nude family. But it's a lovely pink. I do, I like all of the colours apart from Myth. That's one I never use, but I will use it up under lip glosses because you can put it under a lip gloss, but you don't really need to. You could just put the lip gloss on, but yeah, never mind. I have to use it up now. I've bought it. Um, this is Angel, which is a frost. I bought this because of all the hype near the beginning when I first got lipsticks. Quite a lot's been used. And, um, but I don't really like it. I th I'm not sure what's wrong with it. <laughs> I think it's the frost. I just don't really like that finish very much. Because it actually looks like a very pretty colour, but it's definitely the frost that does it for me. I'm just not interested in the frost. It's kind of, I think it's a bit too pink as well, a bit too pigmented, I'm not sure. But it's not one of my favourites. Um, and the last one is Love Lawn, which is a luster. This is a relatively recent purchase, not that recent. And um, sorry, I really, really like this. I've used quite a lot of it. Um, it's just a lovely, easygoing, light pink so it does show up quite pink but it's just so easy to wear there's no hassle you can put it on with anything you don't need a lip gloss because it's so glossy so that was three strokes of it you can put it much less um, pigmented like for example um, you could just go like that I don't know if you can even see that on top but yeah anyway you can all of these you can fade out but I love love lawn I really do love it um, the next two are both Viva Glams and they're both reds. Um, I love them both. One of them I'm wearing right now. The first one I'll show you is Viva Glam Cindy. 
I think it's not being sold anymore, something like that. It's a really lovely red because you can, um, what's the finish? It's a luster. So it's a quite a bright red and you can either pack it on so it's really red or you can just put a light, like tiny bit on and then it's just a really nice pop of, I don't know, bright, bright-ish lips, but it's not bright red. I absolutely love this color. I don't use it enough. Um, so that's it with one quick stroke. You can see that it's a luster. And then if I put quite a bit on, it can really get quite red. So I absolutely love this lipstick. It's so kind of diverse. And um, yes, it's just kind of like a light medium red. Um, this is my only matte lipstick from MAC. Um, it's Viva Glam 1, which is what I'm wearing right now. I have a gloss on this though. Um, it's not pointy at the end because I use the end to kind of do the uh, corners of my lips. But this is a really, really lovely dark red. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going. I just absolutely love it. I have nothing bad to say about it. Even though it's matte, I do wear a lip gloss most of the time. You can wear it just matte as long as your lips are quite moisturised and it's not too drying. I really love this and it's so pigmented, like unbelievably pigmented. You can see that's definitely the darkest one of all. I absolutely love this red. If you want a dark matte red, go for Viva Glam one. And then the last three lip colours are the crazy colours. Um, I didn't know where else to put them. So I'll start with probably the least crazy. Uh, this is Lustering and it's a luster and it's a bright pink and I mean not bright pink so that you can't wear it normally or easily, it's just a very bright pink. Because um, it's a luster, you can just put a light layer on, it can be very pretty, or you can put quite a lot, lot on and make it a very bright pink. So that's one swipe of it. But then if you want to put more on, it could be a very bright pink. I use this a lot in the summer because it's so glossy, it's really pretty, especially if you've got blonde hair. Um, Lustering is a lovely, lovely colour. It's quite moisturising as well. Um, the next one is Cross Wires, so I'm going in craziness. Um, this is a cream sheen, so it's very pigmented. And this is in between a coral and a pink. It's like a coral, pink and red in one. Um, you'll have seen all of these lipsticks in videos of mine from MAC Halls, so if you've been watching all of them, you'll like be rekindling everything I've said about them before. But this is a really lovely colour. I don't wear it that often because it's just very intense and I have to kind of be in the mood to wear a bright lipstick. Um, you'll see what I mean about it having the coral in it. It's a corally ready pink colour. But I do really like it. When I have worn it, I've really liked it. It's just a bit extreme so you have to, you know, maybe tone down the eyes and stuff. And my last lipstick is very crazy. This is an amplified lips, lip, um, what's it called? Amplified mix. Uh, finish that's it an amplified finish this is vegas vault and it's a coral and it's absolutely beautiful i love it um it was really good with blonde hair i haven't worn it with my brown hair yet so i don't know if it would work at all but it's a very orangey coral it's very bright hence the amplified and i've just had enough room for my lipsticks it's just there really rich color um you can see how this was quite corally but now it looks more pink against the vegas vault but yeah that's the all of my lipsticks all 16 of them. So what I'm going to do is take a picture of my arm and I'll put it up at the end so you guys can see all of it. And I have like a little army of um, <laughs> lipsticks here now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my MAC lipsticks. I like to think that I have a bit of a variety because um, I wouldn't like to just have pinks or just have nudes. I like that I've got some crazier colours that are really good quality. So I really like all of these colours apart from Myth. That's the only one, and um, Gaga I don't really wear but I do like it. So this, there's only one that I really wouldn't recommend. So um, yeah, and that's the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Look at my little army of MAC lipsticks. Woo!